नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग सो फॉर दिस वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग और वॉट एवर यू से you know i also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly i am doing it because i wanted to give it back to the society i also spent lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith12384 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead
नमस्ते एज आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू वेदर्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द ब्रेन और ब्रेन एंड द अदर एस्पेक्ट्स नाउ लेट्स ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग द वेरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ how exactly the complex structure works in accordance to the multiverse and its reality the difference between reality and unreality so this is one of the very basic point that one needs to understand if one is trying to understand vedas as a whole i am not trying to break up the very aspect of the four chatur vedas rigveda yajurveda atharanveda samaveda to start with asya shri shuddha shakti mala maha mantrasya upastha indriyadi varuna aditya rishihi दैवी गायत्री छंद सात्कार भट्टारिक पीठस्थित श्रीमत्कामेशरांक निलय श्रीमत्कामेशरी देवता कामेश्वरा देवता ऐं बीज क्ली शक्ति सौखीलक श्रीदेवी प्रीत जपे विनियोग श्री देवी प्रीत्यर्धे खड्ग सिद्ध्यर्धे जपे विनियोग गुरूर्ब्रह्मा गुरूर्ष्णु गुरूर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम अज्ञानिनातिमरांध से ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरन्मीत तस्म श्री गुरव नम स्थावर जंगम व्याप्त येन चराचर तत्पद दर्शित येन तस्म श्री गुरव नम ऐं मंगुष्टाभ्याम क्लीं तर्जनीभ्याम सौ मध्यमाभ्या सौ अनामिकाभ्या क्लीं कनिष्ठकाभ्याम ऐं कर्तलकृष्टाभ्याम ऐं हृदयाय क्लीं शिसेय स्वाह सौ शिखाय वश्यठ सौ कवचा क्लीं नेत्रय वशटा अस्त्राय फटूर्भुवस्वर दिग्बंद सर्वोकगोत्रोद्भव से लोका संस्था नो एज ऐ वॉज टेलिंग अवर् ब्रेन इज कॉम्प्लेक्सली having that uh, having those structures connections and activities which do happen and the same thing the same theology applies for what you call how exactly like you know uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence or whatever it is and i was talking about the neurons that are existing in the human brain which are around the 69 billion neurons mm-hmm. uh, uh, neurons and 100 billion galaxies that exist and our brain is a constituent of water and universe is a dark matter now to start with let's try understanding today there is lot of Uh, you know a uh, a uh, 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 lot of debate on masculinity and the femininity nature the point is today i see that masculine turning to feminine feminine turning to masculine now as i say or as i see in this universe when we more or less talk about that uh, very existence of human body as a whole its constituents of both it does not have 
any kind of uh, you know variation or you know it does not have any kind of diaspora kind of diaspora that you know this body is female or this body is male to give you or uh, to tell you like you know this uh, this feminine or uh, you know uh, this feminine or masculine nature okay uh, this feminine or masculine nature how do you actually like understand we need to understand not from the physical perspective don't take from the physical perspective physical perspective is bahirmukha that is where the lalita sahasrama santarmukha samaradhya bahirmukha sudurlabha happens and that's where the ardhanarishwara this is what is in fact kameshwara and kameshwari's concept understand this this is the important conversation specifically for the vocalist musicologist and one who is in fine arts and culture dance drama or whatever that they are doing think about it ladies and gentlemen this is where we are missing and that is the reason why today we are not able to understand our as a whole or the vedas as a conceptual or contextual aspect see logically if you really see masculine has a very nature of understanding of logic being active assertive rational analytical and goal oriented that means it is filled with agile in nature agility is there it's not about having that uh, outside structure today we are getting fascinated with that aspect specifically seeing the feminine nature that is the first point which i want to tell you please understand this and feminine nature on the other hand is passive receptive intuitive creative emotional process oriented they work in parallel and they have that you know now this is where we tend to get overboard and this is where the beauty of khadgamala's uh, reference comes into picture ishitva siddhe vashitva siddhe and shankaracharya's brilliance comes into picture with brahma satyam jagat mitya brahma eva jeevo na para again i am coming to the same point antarmukha samaradhya bahirmukha sudurlabha and kasmai devaya avisha vidhema so when i talk about this uh, uh, when we talk about this masculinity and femininity existence right it's not about the outer beauty ladies and gentlemen it's not about the structure unfortunately today we are getting carried away with that this was always existing and this always exists white matter and dark matter as i was talking about
so let's try getting into the mode of it first i will explain about in detail all about like what are the seven principles that happens with the human body as a whole when this human existence came into picture this kameshwara and kameshwari had that close discussion and this is how it goes about it's non it's not about showing yourself in the feminine form or in the masculine form let's say i am talking as ramachandra i do have feminine form in me i do have masculine form in me i may not uh, i may not have that feminine uh, complex structure of uh, of the female but this is where actually this feminine forms understanding comes into picture think about it and that is the reason why today our society is in a very dogmatic state there in a dogma in not taking the exact meaning or the real meaning or the real understanding about what you call what exactly the true definition of feminism is or true definition of masculinity is when we talk about even vedas when we talk about vedas this is the primary aspect this is the focal point and that is the reason why artha narishwara swarupa is important i am not being uh, i am not being harsh on the people but i am trying to make them vigilant with uh, the very understanding about that true nature the brains working is the same cortex is the same working of the cortex is the same and working with the working with the cortex is the same and working with uh seri cerebellum and uh, cerebrum cerebrum is the same structures connections and activities are the same but one difference is this feminine nature whatever that i am talking about has one uh, uh, a positive nature that she gives birth that femininity gives birth to a child that malnourishment that you get from the right breast right breast of the uh, feminine form is the truest form of the you know truest form and the left side of the brain she gives the truest knowledge when the kid is 4 or 5 years old on the other hand she has the masculine nature as well very you know she tries to analyze and she will be goal oriented too likewise this masculine also you know this uh, feminine uh, nature or the so called females have that passive nature they are receptive they are intuitive they have that far sightedness and that is the reason why mother has that you know highest place 
females have the highest place feminism has the highest place today i see that that is being misconstrued and there is kind of misconception that is happening and to just give you a brief of how exactly what are the seven things that are you know uh, uh, qualities one is universe is mental that exists in manifestation that's what you need to understand and the second is there will be a kind of correspondence of the human body as a whole whether it is angikam vachikam or whether it is whatever it is and you know it is like you know uh, uh, it more or less talks about the reality and unreality aspect both from the physical uh, physical uh, p- point of view as well as you know uh, at, uh, as well as talking about you know uh, the consciousness aspect from the very view point of the all the one the source and god again it is coming back to kasmay devaya avishavidhema and it is a mental projection that we are that happens at multiverse level it happens at anu and parmanu level understand this ladies and gentlemen it's a very complex human brain is a very complex thing and thinking and feeling start becoming an experience this is the beauty of our, our vedic you know vedic introduction this is the exact face by exact definition of vedas it's not about understanding rig veda yajur veda atharan veda sam veda those came after some time but this is the real meaning and nature and matter of energy at a smallest level at minutest level at minuscule level and most importantly if you really see this outer world mirror outer world whatever you see from the uh, whatever that you are seeing from the inner world or whatever that you are thinking this is what is inner world comes as a mirror to the uh, from the outer world as a result do patterns patterns or uh, patterns and loss various loss factors and cofactors etc all govern them and creativity being one of the uh, one of the reality that is why when we do when we are into devi sadhana there is an upper edge for sri vidya sadhana who have a, who has this capacity they have that uh, innate ability to understand this they can reengineer and they can realign their thoughts and you know those uh, feelings also they can realign that think about it ladies and gentlemen this is what actually like feminism is and other thing all about so we need to what we need to understand what really our brain logically does is 
it integrates both the logic both the logic and rational be behind your existence logic in the sense why am i doing what am i who am i what is my responsibility and that again transform to intuition yes this is what i need to do and thus this you know uh, this is what is called the analysis and creativity the action and reflection again and the ambition and nurture these are the first two very basic steps very basic characteristics of uh, whatever this human existence is all about think about it ladies and gentlemen thus i conclude this video with a positive note stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead and wishing you a warm and happy new year please do peep into it new year is a right time for you all stay blessed and have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead